that, baby. You deserve that. Look at my list.
yesterday when you arrived here already read multi-time scoring champion NBA MVP, but now it will read NBA champion and finals MVP. Why are those things important to you? It's a team sport, you know, and we want to achieve the highest honor in the team sport, which is winning a championship. And the build with these guys is amazing. In front of these players, man. You guys were great tonight. We needed it. The chance, man. I appreciate it. You took your share of criticism, but you said win or lose, you have made the right decision. What have you found with this particular group of guys here in Golden State? Yeah, it's just a great group of guys, great community, great arena, great fans. I'm just so happy to be a part of it, man. I can't wait to celebrate with my teammates in the locker room. Talk about your mom and the influence she's had. I'll give you one final opportunity to maybe express some sentiments for her here. We did it. I told you when I was eight years old, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> Steph, you told us in the last couple of days that you have heard the chatter. That some of the criticisms that you faced in your prior finals appearances definitely made you a little defensive. How did you take all of that and falling short as a unit last year to become better equipped to win this championship? I mean, we learned from everything we've been through and, you know, our perspective, being blessed to, to play on the stage three years in a row. It's all God. Um, it's, it's for these fans, it's for our organization, our families. excited to be a part of this group and accomplish something special and want to do it again. That's it. You guys ready for that? <laughs> Tonight, it's interesting, Andre Iguodala, there were periods in this playoffs where he was not 100%, but in a closeout game, Steve Kerr turned to him once again. Can you describe what he gave you tonight? He's the ultimate professional, the ultimate veteran that understands, you know, every moment he's out there, he can spark us. Um, and you don't know how it's going to happen. So tonight playing defense, knocking down big shots, hustle plays. It's the beauty of our team because everybody does what we do by committee. And um, he embodies that. He's embodied that since he's been here. The sacrifice he's made. And uh, I can't wait to beat him on the golf course soon, too, baby. Kevin Love and somehow makes that look easy or absorbs the nights where it isn't easy. So how do you do it, Clay? Uh, well, I got the best team behind me, so it's easy to pressure a man and play defense when you got these guys behind you blocking shots and helping you. And uh, it's effort and for the pride. You know, when, when Kevin Durant was added, you said there would be no adjustment, that your game would remain the same, but you did have to find a way to be more efficient and less touches. And So how were you able to do that? Oh, it's no adjustment when you get, get a guy like Kevin Durant. I mean, look at it. We went 16 to 1, you know? That's what he does for our team. And along with the other guys we picked up, it's just a collective effort. So it wasn't much of an adjustment, and it's easy adjustment in winning. And um, that's what it's all about. Titles make it worth it. Congratulations. Draymond Green. So how did you take the passion that is so integral to the success of this team and get where it needed to be to win a second one? Um, you know, you learn from your mistakes. And obviously, you know, we had a letdown last year. I had a letdown last year. But like I told everybody before, if, if Kevin Durant was the consolation of Ross to lose, thanks for that loss, and we chance this year. How does redemption feel? 
It's amazing, you know, we've always, we talked about the entire year, let's get back what we deserve, we want to be champions again, so, you know, I feel great, and I'm ready to go pop some champagne. I'll let you get to it, congratulations, Grandma. The 2017 NBA champion, Golden State Warriors.